and basically get them the security and financial security for well, the that's future. Amazing. But wow. I can't put that out on camera because I don't believe in bringing people down. Is so, me, a troll is someone who will go online, generally anonymously, for the purpose of making someone else's life difficult or miserable. Bring someone down. So it will be yeah, people online. who will make up an account that's got no name attached yeah. to it, so yeah. there's no either, and just post on your post being like, fuck you, your shit, Ooh. or I don't like you. Well, they'll just do it all their time, yeah. 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 When we say that, and it sounds like there's like a few people who do this, there's like hundreds of thousands of people who have they have a normal account, they'll look, they might even have a lot of followers, whatever, they look good. And then they'll have a secret account, which is just they only know about. One of the girls who I went to school with, she's 25. Yeah, she completely like changed her whole figure, changed her hair. And she couldn't live up to the standard of what people are looking at her 24K followers. And she killed herself about two weeks ago. Oh my God. Yeah, because oh, you can't, so it's the stress, it's the trolling and it's the, it's, that wasn't the pressure. Whoever yeah. it was said, you look like a man in a dress, your bingo wings could take off with flight. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. Like, they were going in on everything that I've been born with. Essentially, like, my gender, my colour, anything that was a protected characteristics, they went for it. Mm. And it did make me feel bad. I was like, oh God, like, it's really making me reassess for a hot second. Yeah. Do I enjoy being the way that I was built and raised and born? And it, it hurts because you have built up this kind of, not a wall, but you built up this kind of confidence and this bubble to say, I am who I am and I'm proud of who I am and I will present myself as the person that I am. And for someone to come around and say, you're not shit, you're insignificant, you're not worthy of even having a Twitter account, an Insta account, it does make you feel bad. How long did it go on for? Sorry? How long did it go on for? It went on for about three months. So they was inboxing me as well as like sending comments and wow, stuff. So wow. I deleted the comments at first. I thought nothing of it. I said, don't reply, don't retaliate because as soon as you give back, as soon as you say That's something, it. it's feeding, it's feeding yeah. that monster. So I said, don't reply. Sorry. Then they kept going and I thought, no, nah, let me clap back. Like, am I a little bitch? Like, no, I've got some clap backs that I can give to them. And then I blocked them and they found my personal Instagram. So they didn't just find my business one where I was like, I'm this person, I'm that person. They found my personal one. They kept inboxing me. They kept telling me how disgusting I was every day, how horrible I was as a person. Um, oh, and really? Did you find that really was? Did you find that really was? I didn't, I didn't because yeah. the things that they were saying weren't personal to me in the sense that they they never brought up a trial or tribulation or a problem or complication that I had with a real person in life. So it was all fabricated, it was all something that they presumed that I would have experienced. So they targeted my weight, they targeted um, me being a black woman, they targeted me uh, having a different sexuality to what they presume is a norm. That's what they tried to target and they hoped by that I would be disgruntled or discouraged from yeah. continuing my pursuit. Mm. And yeah, it was horrible. Exactly. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna lie, I cried. I cried yeah. without any makeup on, I was real, I was there. Like, I've, I've been doing social media for a, a while now, but your life starts to change. I think it's mm. very easy to kind of present this life, but there are times where you feel that you're struggling. Mm -hmm. Especially someone who's trying to be so positive for people mm. as well. And the times where you go down, you can't drag everyone down with mm, you. Mm, mm. So you have to take that by yourself. Do you get mm. spies in the street and stuff like that? Uh, so I've had certain people, but I just, it, it it's difficult because when you can't convey that on camera and when you've got a you've got to be this kind of positive person this motivational person and stuff like this and then you you get this instance where you just have a breakdown and you're just feeling low because of certain things like for example my, i mean i can't believe i'm saying this on camera both my parents are old at the moment like they're both dying and they're very oh, and so they're they're like w w what they're going through is like really really hard because I'm like you know I'm trying to do everything that I do to make the world. Yeah. Make, <laughs> do you mind make, if I ask what's happening with your parents? Like you're both dying. They've both got fibromyalgia. Okay. So first one and then the second one and they're both getting it's both harder for them to work mm. every single day. So what I do is I try to do what I do so I can basically get them the security and financial security for well, the that's future. Amazing. 
But I can't put that out on camera because I don't believe in bringing people down mm. at any point. Mm. And that's where it can be tough. That's mm. where people can, and, and in fact, you know, you see a lot of people who can go through mental problems like that because you have to create this wall between these mm. two worlds almost. Mm, mm. You have all and these people, but you're actually really alone. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah so you do. You feel, you know, it's, it's a lonely, it's a lonely path, especially being an influencer is a lonely path. You know, you're trying to, tell the story but on top of that you meet so many people that you lose friends as well because you can't yeah. keep up with them anymore you can't mm. you can't keep in touch with everyone at the same but time do you feel like maybe if you short shared your story you might find solace your story is you're such an influencer it might actually you might actually find someone in a similar situation and you might find comfort in with each other that will where social media could become good if you let that part of yourself go in terms of what you're dealing with behind the scenes behind the camera behind your instagram feed behind everything that you have as this front guard will people be receptive or will they tell you down because that's i know it's being vulnerable but being vulnerable is that letting yourself just be that most authentic self to the point where that's your core, you're right next to my heart. And if you was to say anything bad about it, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure if I can deal with that. The thing about like Instagram is sometimes you see like girls posting, and they look so perfect, they have like a wonderful you body. You can't on Instagram where you haven't got your hair Yeah. It's true, sometimes like there is stuff behind it, but sometimes I can't like keep comparing myself to those people and yeah, yeah. you know there's there's sometimes this moment when you just look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like you're just looking at your body and you you noticing every imperfections everything that you dislike about yourself and sometimes seeing those perfect people in instagram is making you feel bad but at the same time on instagram i've seen people who are like me like i have loads of stretch marks all over my body i'm not thin <laughs> Yeah. I'm like curvy and everything but I've seen those models who are out there showing themselves, showing those curves and I'm like, you know what, if they can do it, so can I. Everyone's just stressing to make it basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I know the UK music scene is generated by the younger generation mm -hmm. and back in our generation, we didn't have this social media mm -hmm. and these youngers are using it for their advantage. Exactly. So whatever you want to put out there, you want to make it, don't matter. Whatever post I put out on Instagram now, whether I get 5 likes, 10 likes, mm -hmm. if I've got 10,000 followers, I know 10,000 people seeing it, whether you like it or not. But would people still use it if you had to pay for it? No. Hi, it's your girl Jade aka Jadwa. Real big chat. Hit that like button, subscribe, follow, do everything you need to do on the social media platforms. <laughs>